All right, so today we're going to talk about the electrical circuit, the system of conductors and components forming a complete path for current to travel. Um, the different properties that we're going to talk about in this class are voltage, which we will talk about in volts, and label it with a V. We're going to talk about the current, which we will call amps, with A, and then resistance and ohms with omega. Current is the flow of the electric charge. We're going to measure that in amps. So right now, the faucet or the switch is off. So is there any current? No, the water's not running. But when we turn that switch on, there is current because now the water is flowing through that pipe. So inside of our electric circuit, the switch is off. There is no current. Turn that switch on. Current is moving from the positive to the negative side. The electrons are moving through that circuit, so there is current. Voltage. Voltage is that pressure that causes that current to flow. We're going to measure that in volts. So currently right now, the switch is off. Is there any pressure? Well, yes, there's pressure. There's pressure inside of the pipe going against the switch itself, pushing it there, trying to get through. The tank itself has pressure as it's trying to push the water through that pipe itself. And the faucet then is pushing back onto that pipe, so therefore nothing flows out of it. What happens when we turn that switch or faucet on? Is there any pressure? Yeah, there's pressure because it's pushing that current through the system itself. So when it's off, there's voltage. When there's on, there's voltage. But when it's on, now it's going that complete cycle to turn that light on itself. Resistance is the opposition to current flow, measured in ohms. So right now, there's voltage, there's current that's running through. But what happens if we drop a rock into it and gets logged into the pipe? So we're providing and putting resistance into that pipe now. So the flow is going to decrease. So if we add resistance in this series circuit here, that current will decrease. So we take in, we bring in a resistor, drop that into our circuit. What's going to cause it to do? That light's going to become dimmer because we have resist the flow of electrons through that circuit itself. So how do we measure voltage? Well, we grab a multimeter. We make sure we put in the proper V range and then we measure across a component. So we can measure the voltage across a battery, we can measure voltage across the switch, the resistor, and that light. So we take the two different leads on the two sides, we can get a measurement on our multimeter. Multimeter can measure both voltage, current, and resistance for us. If we want to measure current, we set it to the proper A-DC range, and then what we have to do is break the circuit and run it through there. So it goes and measures that pressure that's going through or that flow that's being created through between the two different components themselves. So you break that and then what do we want for resistance? For resistance, power's off and then we measure across a component, across a component, across a component. It can tell us how much resistance is being applied to each one of those components themselves. So what we're going to do next is we're going to take those different voltage, current, and resistance that we have and use Ohm's Law to help calculate that. So Ohm's Law is the voltage of a circuit is equal to the current times the resistance in the two different iterations. The current is equal to the voltage divided by the resistance, and the resistance is equal to voltage divided by the current. 